Okay, this is our fourth example of uh, finding the domain of a function represented by a formula. And uh, this example is a little bit different from the previous three uh, because the um, uh, format of the formula here, uh, the expression that um, makes the formula for this function uh, involves a radical, involves a square root. Uh, but first let's answer, uh, 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 before we find the domain, let's answer some simpler questions. Let's just determine if uh, some particular numbers are in the domain, and then we'll try to write out the entire domain um, based on uh, what we observe uh, in parts A and B here. So the first question is, uh, is the number 9 in the domain? So what that means is if we use 9 as input uh, to the function R, uh, will the matching output be uh, meaningful? Uh, in this case, uh, again, since we don't know how this function is being applied in practice, we don't know what the input quantity is measuring, what the output quantity is measuring, uh, a meaningful output value is just a real number output value. So let's just test this by um, actually using uh, 9 as input to the function r, and uh, let's see what sort of output value we get. So of course to evaluate r of 9, to use 9 as input, I'm simply going to substitute 9 for uh, the input variable x in the formula for r. So we get that r of 9 is the square root of 9 minus 7, and that simplifies to the square root of 2. Now, even though 2 is not a perfect square, um, the square root of 2 is a real number. Um, if you um, evaluate square root of 2 with your calculator, you'll see that it's approximately, but not exactly, uh, equal to 1.41421. And so um, the output value that matches the input 9 is a real number. And so that tells us that indeed uh, 9 is one of the numbers in the domain uh, of the function r. All right, now in part b, we want to check to see if 6 is in the uh, domain. So we're going to go through exactly the same steps. We're just going to evaluate r of 6 and see what sort of output value that we get. All right, so r of 6 is going to be the square root of 6 minus 7. And of course, 6 minus 7 simplifies to minus 1. So we end up here with square root of minus 1. And recall now that square root of minus 1 is not going to be a real number. Uh, the square root of any negative quantity is not a real number. And so that tells us that the uh, matching output value for the input number 6 is not a real number. And that means uh, we don't have a meaningful output value, or uh, 6 is not in the domain of the function. Okay, so now let's tackle the final question here. Uh, what is then the domain of the function r? We know 9 is in the domain. We know 6 is not in the domain. So what would be the entire domain uh, of the function r? And what part b suggests is um, that the domain for r would consist of numbers that we can substitute for x that will make the quantity underneath the square root, underneath the radical, non-negative, uh, because those are the only uh, uh, quantities whose square roots will be real numbers. So we need this quantity x minus 7 to be either 0 or uh, positive, that is non-negative. So we can probably uh, determine uh, what that domain is just by observation, but we can also do it methodically uh, by solving an inequality. We just want x minus 7 to be uh, greater than or equal to 0. We want that to turn out to be a non-negative value uh, when we substitute um, a number for x. So we just have to solve this inequality, x minus 7 greater than or equal to 0. And that's very easy to solve. Uh, we can just add 7 to both sides of the inequality. And so we see here that uh, for x minus 7 to be greater than or equal, or equal to 0, x itself has to be greater than or equal to 7. And this tells us then the domain of the function r. It's going to be all real numbers greater than or equal to uh, 7. So that includes, of course, 9, which we'd already discovered uh, was in the domain, uh, but doesn't include the number 6, which we had already discovered uh, is not in the domain. Um, you can write that domain uh, as an inequality, um, x greater than or equal to 7. You can also write it out in words, uh, all real numbers um, greater than uh, or uh, equal uh, 7. 